will this be another major escalation in World War III before Trump's inauguration? I want to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, Elder Bishop, the Great Millstone, Ruel. Peace and blessings to you, fellow brothers, pushing this word and truth and sincerity. Coming back with another lesson through the Spirit and Power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem. Rachak with Dash. And uh, new, uh, recent news, you know, really breaking news. This was this happened earlier today. Uh, pretty much, uh, President Biden, Sleepy Joe, he he just authorized, all right, uh, U.S. U.S. Uh, made weapons in Ukraine to strike deeper into Russia. Um long 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 range uh missiles long range missiles are now approved to be you know to strike deeper into russia why why is this happening and why does this matter well russia is saying that this is like a red line because that that would be a, a major escalation and russia would look at it as america you know it's a it's a it's a um it's a it's a game of, of it's it's a very high level game of you know chess. You know you don't want to make the wrong moves. You want to make all the right moves, and and if you make the wrong move, something big can happen. You know, so it's strategic. So Russia knows that America is funding Ukraine and all that, but they're they're only there's they're limited in the they're limited in what they're doing. Okay, they're not striking deep into Russia. Okay, but now these long-range missiles, which Ukraine does not have that technology, these long-range missiles missiles are going to be shot deeper into uh, Russia and Russian territory, and the people that are going to be using, you know, uh, the, the 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 missile guidance system, and you know, you have to have uh, individuals that are well trained. So there's going to be it has to have Americans to be able to shoot those missiles. So now. Is this like a major escalation before Trump gets into office? Because Trump, he's saying that day one, he's going to stop the war. OK, but he's going to be put into a situation. All right. Where he's not going to be able to stop. And, and he, he, he's not trying to stop anything. Let me um, bring out a little bit of this article. It's, it's a couple of articles. I'll go to AP News. OK. I'll go AP News and read, you know, just read a little bit. I'm driving, so let's see what, what I can do. Bear with me. And I'll bring out a scripture as well. It, it's not it, it's not a long lesson, but, you know, when this news came out, why, why are they now allowing this to happen now? Okay? Right before, um, you know, like a month before, a little over a month before the inauguration, maybe like six, seven weeks before the inauguration, Okay, is this uh, another uh, provocative move? Will this intensify things? Okay, will Russia and America go directly? Uh, will Russia declare war on America? Okay, is the draft coming back? So, hey, a lot of things are, are a lot of things are moving quick. So this is from AP News. Goddamn God ads. Biden authorizes Ukraine to use U.S. supply longer range missiles for deeper strikes in Russia. Okay. President Joe Biden has approved Ukraine to use US supplied missiles to strike deeper inside Russia. Okay. Give me a second. It says easing limitations on longer range weapons as Russia deploys thousands of North Korean troops. Can't forget about that. North Korea has entered into the war. Uh, the Koreas. And you have uh, South Korea that's supplying Ukraine uh, with uh, munitions. Uh, with aid. Uh, North Korean's troops to reinforce its war according to a U.S. official and three other people familiar familiar with the matter. I'm not going to read 
all of it. I'm only gonna read a little bit. It's, it's late and I'm driving. Um, but that that is a, another uh, another another uh, move in which it's gonna spark more aggressive aggressiveness from Russia. Let me bring I, this this piece of hitting me because what, what does all this mean? Does does this matter to you, American people? You're gonna be taken by surprise, okay? Because the, the things that are going there's still um, there's still uh, what's it called? I just had the word. It was just in my in my mind. Uh, let me let me just go to the precept. Just in my mind, you know, Satan. Yep, this is it right here. Uh, Isaiah 34. Escalation. There we go. Escalations. There's still major escalations happening. Okay, while the people's minds are at ease, thinking that you know Donald J. Trump is going to make America great again. Now America's going to get pulled into this war. And is this the is this that escalation that's going to do it right before Trump's presidency? He gets pulled into a war. OK, which he has no choice to, uh, you know, to to, to to send troops. It's all it's all it's all it's all making sense. Right. Isaiah 34 and one come near ye nations to hear. And and hearken ye people, let the earth hear and all that is therein. The world and all things that come forth of it, because these two superpowers getting in war with each other, this is going to affect the whole world. It's going to affect a, a global supply chains. It's going to affect life here in America. It's going to affect life in China. It's everything. Okay, it's going to it's going to literally affect everything. Okay, it's going to it's going to affect you. They're going to have to. They're going to be drafting individuals. There's going to be major uh, major. Uh, 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 you know, uh, God damn it, what's going on here? Give me a second. Let me go around. There's gonna be major riots, right? Because America's gonna get drawn into an unwanted war. Okay, and Trump is gonna have no, uh, no choice. Okay, no choice but to send troops. Right? But you, you world, the world, you need to hear this because you think that you're gonna be able to escape. Okay, what's getting ready to come, and that's uh, far from the truth. You're, you're not going to be able to escape what's coming. You're going to be drawn into these wars because this is the will of the Heavenly Father. Things are things are not going to go smooth here in America. Things are getting ready to turn up. Okay, uh, cy cyber war. Okay, they could turn the grid off. Uh, different attacks within these different U.S. cities. Okay, terrorist attacks. All right, you got um, all type of uh, migrants flooding this place. From these different countries okay for the indignation of the lord is upon all nations because this is really a judgment judgment day for you know pretty much all the, the whole world but america is going to take the brunt of it but you're going to have a lot of people dying you know within you know these different countries as well okay the indignation is the indignation of the lord is upon all nations see this is a world war and it's fury upon all their armies see and do we not know and understand that the, the their their armies are going to be drawn into the valley of jehoshaphat that's where armageddon is going to take place okay and we still we still we still have a war with uh there's still a war with you know pretty much israel and you know hamas and iran Okay, so you got two war fronts, really almost three, because China is preparing to invade and take back Taiwan, which if they do that, that's going to stop. America has to go to war with, with China because that's going to stop uh, the, the all these major chips that all these major chips that um, that are in these devices that the U.S. makes, the U.S. uses. They all come from Taiwan. It's really they're they're a they're a powerhouse. They pretty much make the majority of the chips, okay, in uh in, in all these devices, okay. So America holds uh, Taiwan very dear. That's why they came out with the Chips Act. Uh, Biden came out with the Chips Act to be able to you know set up the infrastructure, okay, um and the, the infrastructure basically to 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 uh, you know make chips locally here in the United States. Cause that the, the, pretty much you will be crippled. If if China takes back Taiwan, you will be completely and utterly crippled. 
Give me a second. Bear with me. Okay. So the, the, uh, a lot of a lot of things are are happening. Okay, right in you know right in front of the people's eyes, but they're they're not aware of these things. They can't see these things. And, num and number one, I should say, is they do not. Do, they do not res respect prophecy neither do they understand prophecy and how things are going to go south things are going to go sour uh regardless if you like it or not okay people are going to be amazed like, how, how, how did we get in this situation how, how how could this be well we've been telling you that's why we, we we're reading isaiah 34 come all you nations in here okay bear with me it says it says, and his fury upon all their armies, he has utterly destroyed them. He has delivered them to the slaughter. So a great, a great slaughter is getting ready to take place. All right. They just had a, uh, I want to do a video on it. They just had a, a, a listeria, another listeria outbreak on carrots. So there's a carrot recall. All right. And I guess one, one, so many people, uh, so many people got sick and, and so many people died. Okay. I believe only like one person the news is relatively new okay and um that's that's going to play part in the famine because when war comes famine comes and the majority of all products that you you americans get okay where do you where do you get it from you get it from other countries like china the mass majority of all things that you get are imported so when there's when there's wars there's embargoes trump is talking about coming in and and, and you know putting embargoes on all these countries on all their goods all right he's coming in to shake things up but here it is you got another um major escalation that the people the the mainstream media is not telling you about how this is going to really affect you now it, it, it can it can blow over but more than likely you see what i'm saying regardless of it if it if this is it or not it's still moving in that direction things are still trending to world war three things are still trending to uh, all out chaos things are still trending to famine okay the slain their, their slain also shall be cast out and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses and the mountains shall be melted with their blood yeah because ultimately what's coming what what is the coming in the very very near future is world war three thermonuclear fire but there's going to be also ground fighting as well all right there's going to be you know uh it, it's not it's not going to be a long drawn out war they gon' they gonna use those missiles, man. And within war, you Americans getting drawn into this war, you're gonna uh you're gonna also be drawn into famine. Famine is gonna come. Uh there's gonna be even greater evils that are that are gonna come. People are gonna be, you know, so uh, uh so messed up in the head that they're they're gonna shit. They're they're gonna be fighting one against each uh, uh one against another. Alright? Just like uh second Ezra the fifteenth chapter talks about. Okay? They're going to be fighting each other. Oh, give me a second. They're going to be fighting each other and killing each other. That's that's what's coming. Shit, that's that's what's here, really. Okay, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Okay, it's coming whether you like it, believe it, understand it or not. Okay, these things, these things are coming. Okay. It says... Uh, and the host of heaven shall be dissolved and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll right right okay isaiah isaiah is uh seeing uh the destruction he's seeing the destruction in uh okay in a vision okay bear with me Give me a second. He's seeing he's seeing a destruction in a vision. All right, he's seeing the mushroom cloud. Cause that's that's the future of Babylon the Great. Okay, and there could be you know tactical nuclear nuclear weapons that you know are, are you know that are that are going to be shot you know in different places you know low grade nuclear weapons or whatever it may be. Okay, but for the most part, okay. Uh, uh, Amer America in the state of Israel is going to be totally wiped out. Okay, let me let me go back. It says, and and their host shall fall down 
as a leaf falleth off the off from the vine. Okay, and as a and as a falling fig tree, uh, and as a as a falling fig from the fig tree. Okay. Now let me just read you this last scripture because we we we're, we're definitely in that time. Also, Romans thirteen talks about um, our our salvation is nearer than when we believed. Okay, you know I should have went the other way. All good. Our salvation is nearer than when we believed. Okay. Bear with me. Bear with me. Uh, revelation. Let me get Revelation. Right, Revelation. You already know where I'm going. Revelation. I mean, so many scriptures though. Revelation 11 and 14. The it says, the second woe is past, and behold, the third woe coming quickly. That woe means destruction. So here it is. Where it's like the calm before the storm, right? Uh, you know, things are relatively quiet here in America. You got a lot of Edomites rejoicing over their president-elect. Uh, Trump is coming in, talking about how he's going to do this. It's pretty much he. It, it it's impossible for him to do any of that. He can't. He can't do nothing. OK, because it's uh, at the end of the day, it's already set up. So I'm like, OK, well, he coming in talking big shit like he about to completely change America. He about to stop this. He stopped. You know, he he pro he promising things. But wouldn't that be his great excuse why he couldn't fulfill those things is because Biden led him into a war. OK, so this, they're 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 just playing you American people. Well, the script. Let me let me uh, hit you with another scripture real quick. I'm just going to read a little bit of it. The first couple of verses, right? First Thessalonians. First Thessalonians. Okay. But of the times, verse one, but of the times and seasons, brethren, I have no need that I shall uh, write unto you. Okay. It says, for yourselves know perfectly. Okay. Give me a second. I'm not sure if I can. Yeah, I can go right here. Yep. Bear with me, bear with me. Or is it a... Uh, I think it's right there. You know what? I think it's right here. Salakia, Salakia, you know? Salakia. I'm trying to get to my destination and it's just kind of... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm... I think we cool. Yep, it says, For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. See? For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. And they shall not escape. See? They shall not escape. So that's that's pretty much what's you know getting ready to take place. That's what's taking place. That peace and safety. But that sudden destruction is getting ready to come upon these people. All right, I'm going to close it there until next time. Shalom to the elect.